What is going on Carnage? My name is Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a Call of Duty 2016 rumor here that's going around. One that I quite personally like much more so than the other rumors that I myself have dispelled on my channel or that we've seen in the community as growing in interest. With all these though, keep in mind it's rumors right now, speculation, and nothing is set in stone, so take it with a grain of salt. But before we get too far into this video, I want to describe to you guys a little bit about this gameplay, this awesome gameplay by Carnage Slayers. He absolutely kills it. Using just the MR6 here, he's going to go on a 58 pistol gun streak. 58 kills with his pistol straight. Beautiful gameplay, and I think you guys definitely will enjoy it. So if you do, make sure you drop a like on the video, but also make sure you go check out his channel. His link will be down in the description below. Show him some love. He definitely deserves it for this kind of gameplay. Incredible stuff here, as always, with him. And if you guys want to check out my channel, that link will be found in the description below as well. But, of course, Slayers, make sure you check him out first and foremost. But getting into this, Call of Duty Bloodlines. This information is supposedly coming from a guy who calls himself Gino, and has had a great track record with leaking stuff about Pokemon and Nintendo NX. So, what is the correlation here between all of that? Why does that make any sense? Why do we even care that a guy talking about something completely different from Call of Duty gave us some information to the next supposed Call of Duty title developed by Infinity Ward for this year? Well, the big thing that connects these two is that supposedly this is going to be also released not only on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, but also Nintendo NX, the next generation Nintendo console. We haven't seen anything since Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Wii U be a part of the Nintendo family here, and it'd be really interesting to see how this plays out. But that is the connection here. This guy has had a ton of information discussed and perfectly detailed here about the Nintendo NX, information that has been true massive amounts of time before any of the official information about the NX has come out. So this guy has a track record that does have some weight to it. So with the release of a brand new console, it does make sense for Nintendo to go after some big market games here, Call of Duty being one of them. So in the midst of all of this, did they actually give away what could be our next title here for Infinity Ward? That is the massive question here and what opens up a lot of speculation, not only because this guy has a massive track record, but also for the fact that it would be a brand new IP here, it would be something completely different. Ghost 2 is not something that is very highly anticipated by a lot of people, simply because of how negative the brand was marketed. It's not something that Infinity Ward and their right minds would probably continue on, simply because attaching it to the name of Ghost would already give them a negative stance here in the eyes of the community. So a brand new IP here and something that if we follow the hints of what the name suggests, we could have something also tying into the Modern Warfare series, which is something that a lot of people wanted and loved the idea of for quite a long time and still to this day do. So don't mean to get my hopes up or maybe even yours up, but if this is the case, one, it makes perfectly logical sense here to continue something that Infinity Ward was absolutely brilliantly known for, and two, for them to not continue something that didn't do so hot for them, but also to play into a major fan favorite of the fans, it would make a lot of sense to do. So we might end up getting something, just my personal speculation here, dealing with the prequels and the beforehand stories of all of our characters in Modern Warfare 4, maybe even going back to World War II and seeing some stuff like that, where it's going to try and encompass what everybody loves in the community and lead up into what would ultimately be in chronological order, the Modern Warfare series. Now, obviously take this with a grain of salt. Don't necessarily say this is 100% legit because we're not doing that right now. It is something that we can get a little bit of hype around if it is in fact the case. This guy does have a good track record, so perhaps we do have our next title here for Call of Duty 2016. And then once again, if it is the case, it would make sense. We wouldn't have some backlash about Ghost 2. We would have some tie-in with Modern Warfare, perhaps, or just a brand new IP in general. So it is something that is quite plausible, and with this track record, I don't want to get my hopes up just yet, but it is something that is possible, especially much more so possible than some of the other air quote leaks and rumors that we've had previously. So that's what we're going to wrap this video up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, be sure to like rating down below. Once again, make sure you check out my boy Slayers. He absolutely deserves it for this gameplay. Show him some love. Show him some support here. And if you guys like this video, be sure to like rating down below. If you guys are new to Carnage, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to check out my channel, that link can be found in the description below. I talk about this kind of stuff and a lot more black ops 3 over there but thank you dudes so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one my name is espresso take care and peace